Hello, today's read aloud is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. He's going to ask you for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask you for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited. He'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with the pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk and chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. I want you to think about this story, and we've also read if you um, take a, if you take the mouse to school, if you take a mouse to school. I want you to think about what's the same or different between this story and the other story. Can you draw a picture of how they were alike and how they were different? I can't wait to see your drawings. Here's a big hug from me to you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.